Manny's had a lot of stuff, you know, dealt with a lot of stuff. You know, he had his wrist injured, got suspended, got his ankle injured, had the deal in the summer, but he seems to me, and I don't know him, but very well, but um, what about his resiliency? Yeah, no, he's, he's real tough. He's a real tough guy. He's able to, you know, go through that, those type of things and, and still, still able to show up every day with a positive mindset. He's a, he's a team first guy. So, you know, he's, he's got real good character and, and, and he's been big for us these past couple games. And what do you think he's, he brings to the team? He always seems like he brings a lot of energy off the bench and, you know, he gets a lot of rebounds for the minutes he plays and just what, what do you think he does for you guys? Yeah, he, he's real tough. You know, he know he knows what he's what he's out there to do. I don't think he really he does anything that he's not supposed to out there. He plays hard, and he just brings that uh, toughness dimension to the team. He, you mentioned toughness. I heard him on the radio the other night with Chuck. Um, he talked about being from New York and playing on the playgrounds. And I, I, I get you're you're a Texas guy, I guess. Uh, do you sense a New York toughness about Kamani, or does he ever talk about that, or talk about hey, this is yeah, I mean. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure really how how that goes, but yeah, he he's 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 real tough. So, I guess that's how they how, how they breed him in New York. Okay, thanks. Nate. Nate. Nate Allen. Curtis. Hey, Stanley, just curious, when you chose Arkansas, was potentially playing in a game like you guys had the other night something that you thought much about? And, and how would you describe that experience for you personally? I would say I've thought about, you know, playing a game like that since I started playing basketball. So um, personally, it was it was like a, you know, a dream come true, you know, playing in front of all those fans and, you know, an environment like that. And, and especially with them being number one, it just made it made it made it a crazy experience, you know, something I'll never forget. And how important was it for you guys to be able to get a day off on yesterday? And, and then how are you feeling just from a, a physical and emotional energy standpoint as you guys turn the page to Bama? I think, yeah, I think we're all feeling like um, we're all still hungrier than ever, actually, you know, um, winning a game like that and getting that feeling, you just, you just want to, you want to keep winning. That's the, that's the only thing that we're really thinking about is, is how we're going to beat Alabama. Alyssa. Hey, I just want to know just how you feel like your game has evolved. And as you guys continue to go on this win streak, the role that you've been able to embrace and how it's really kind of helped your game round out this season. I think I've just been, um, you know, coaches have been on me about, you know, trying not to force too much, you know, in the offense and just letting it come to me, you know, because, um, you know, my teammates trust me to score. My, my coaches trust me. I think it's just more about me, um, you know, just finding my spots better. And I think I've been able to do that. Um, as, as conference came around, I've been, I've been focusing more on just playing within the offense and, and, and trying to let things come to me. And then also just not letting my offense uh, dictate the rest of the game, you know, just focusing on defense and rebounding as well. I'm sure winning is a big part of it, but it just seems like you're having a lot more fun, maybe again, part, probably from that comfortability level uh, playing recently. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's so fun, you know, playing with these guys, and especially when they're playing, playing well too. It just inspires you to play better. And I think that you know, winning is, is the ultimate goal. So, you know, as long as, long as we're winning, we're going to be having fun. Thank you. Scotty. Yeah, Stan, I'm curious what you, you've thought of Devo uh, in the last couple of games. Maybe it seems like he's playing with a little bit more confidence and he was able to give you guys a pretty big lift with his jumper the other night. Devo, yeah, he, he's been playing well. He's been playing really well for us. And he, he works out all, all the time. He's always working on his jumper, so... You know, we all have ultimate, you know, trust in him. He shoots it. I think it's going in. So um, we just tell him to keep shooting, you know, keep keep doing you, keep being how you – playing how you play and because, and, you know, he's a, he's a real big piece um, for our team. And then just in terms of your confidence, how have you maybe seen that grow lately? I think you're like 50 – somewhere around 50% from three of the last three games and defended pretty well the other night, checking Jabari Smith quite a bit too. I think that just comes with, you know, embracing the role that I, that I got on this team. You know, I feel like um, my role is a lot bigger than, than, it, than it was maybe towards the beginning of the season. So I think it's just embracing that and, and taking the challenge every night to, to play as hard as I can. Touch. 
Stanley, I'm curious what your initial impressions are of Alabama, and, and did y'all watch the the game last night? Yeah, I, I watched some of it, and, you know, Alabama, they're a fast-paced team. We, we watched some film on them yesterday. They have one of the fastest paces in the country. You know, they shoot a lot of threes, and they like to get to the paint. So I think we're just going to lock in these next two days and, and figure out how we're going to how we're gonna um, um, combat that. I know they've got some just really big wins this year, like Gonzaga and Baylor, Houston. Do you feel like y'all are going to get their best shot? I mean, since y'all are coming off such a, a big win and kind of the, the talk of the college basketball world? Uh, yeah, I, I've never played there. I know that uh, Coach told us yesterday that it's going to be, you know, uh, a good environment for them. They're going to have the student section pat. They're going to be ready to go. So we just got to be able to match their energy and, and, and be able to can execute our game plan. Nate. Dudley. Put into words what it was like those last few seconds of that game and then the, the students charging out on the court and just, you know, what all that felt like. It felt crazy. It was, you know, something I, I can't really explain. I can't really put it into words. It was just a crazy experience. You know, um, I've, I've seen it happen a lot of times and I've always like thought about how cool it would be to be in, in one of those and, and to actually be it in it was, it was a crazy experience and yeah. Bob. Um, hey, Stan, that, that was such a huge win. I mean, you guys had to go overtime to do it physically and and, uh, and and then mentally, you know, emotionally. I'm sure you've been hearing a lot of accolades from uh, around campus and town. Do you worry about a letdown uh, for the next game? Um, I don't think we really worry. We just take it one game at a time. We're not really worried too much about a letdown. We, we, we got a nine-game winning streak. We're just going to try to um, keep doing what we've been doing, and, and hopefully we can get to Alabama and, and come back with a W. You know, in Alabama, they, you know, they, they had, I think they shot three of 30 on threes against Kentucky, but then they hit like 16 out of 20-something against, against uh, Ole Miss. But that's their bread and butter, shooting threes. And you guys weren't playing very good three-point defense earlier, and now you're playing it really, really well. How do you see that matchup and kind of what are you expecting from Alabama from a three-point standpoint? Um, we're going to try to do our best to, to limit their, the three-point attempts and, and contest all of them. We have to find them in transition. And um, we're really going to lock in on that, you know, these next few days of practice and, and figure out how we're really going to stop them from their three-point attack. Well, what, what do you think's made your all's three-point defense so much better? Is it, is it just closing out a little bit better? Is it just, you know, rotating faster? What, what do you think's been, been the key to that? I, th I think we just, um, just finally said we're, like, we're tired of letting people hit – Three's on us, just, just locked in a little bit more on it, um, put a little more effort into it. And I think that, um, you know, practicing more and more on it, it just, it just, it just added up and we finally were able to slow that down a little bit. We still got to get better though. When, when we're on Kamani, you know, last year when you weren't here, obviously, but Eric said that sometimes in practice, the coaches had to tell Kamani to tone it down so he didn't kill anybody. Uh, what, what's he even like? It, it, I may be exaggerating there a little bit, but what, what, what's he like to practice with? How intense is he in practice? He, he's, he's real intense. Uh, we don't really go, we don't do too much uh, five on five or uh, scrimmaging now, but um, you know, in the summer he was, he was real, he was real hard to keep off the offensive glass and, you know, he plays so hard. So it's just, yeah, it, it's tough sometimes, but, but we love him. And I know you weren't here last year, obviously, but, but Alabama beat Arkansas 90 to 59 uh, down there. And, and um, that was after, I guess, some killer practice uh, Eric had, after LSU, but have you heard about that? And do, does do the coaching staff talk to you guys about what happened at Tuscaloosa last year? Uh, they, they talked about it a little bit. Um, some of the players talked about it, but yeah, I, I heard that it was, a, it was a tough game for for us, but hopefully we don't let that happen again this Big year. Big game is finally here as we hit Super Sunday with the last game of the football season. From scored, totals, player performance props, to where the next fired coach is going to land, Bet Online is the number one spot for all things NFL betting in 2022. And with the new year comes a new updated desktop and mobile website. Sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code Believe to get started. That's B L E A V. And it's not just football. Bet Online's basketball, hockey, boxing, and UFC odds coverage is the best in the business. From sports right down to your favorite Vegas casino games, Bet Online is your number one online wagering destination. Bet Online, the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports and play your favorite games. Bet Online, where the game starts.